and we're back for another episode. In this episode I want to talk about the cross class abilities that I'm using for my crafting. And as always, hello from Mifri. Now one thing I've spent today doing is going through all of my crafting macros, because as you guys know, I have got a lot of crafting macros for all level ranges. And as well, I've been looking and checking through the cross, the cross class abilities because um, I was sort of getting annoyed with having to constantly change which shared abilities I was using on which crafts for which level and so on. Constantly having to switch them around was really tiresome. So I've now got and selected a set of abilities which I am using on all crafts for all level ranges and I have updated my macros um, as appropriate to make sure it only uses those abilities and nothing else. So I'm going to go through them now and we'll see what I have. So if you're a carpenter, the carpenter ability you want to take, which is naturally with carpenter anyway, the level 50 ability is Bygot's Blessing. So that's the only carpenter ability you need. And then from Blacksmith, I take Ingenuity 2 because it says it lowers recipe level for the next five steps. So it reduces the recipe level, which basically makes it seem like it's a lower level craft. So it will increase in quality quicker, increase in craftsmanship quicker. Really amazing ability. They always use it. On Armor Smith, I've decided only now to use piece by piece. I no longer use rapid synthesis in any situation, even for four star. So even my four star macros use a whole bunch of piece by piece and careful synthesis too. No rapid synthesis because the success rate, as you can see, is only 50%. And even with Steady Hand 2, it fails way too often. So I've decided to sort of ditch it forever. From Goldsmith, I only take Innovation. Flawless Synthesis has always been a worthless ability. I don't know why it's in the game. Uh, manipulation is... Well, well, it was great. I used it for a long, long time. But because now I've got 352 CP unbuffed, and you can see 395 with CP food, I've decided that I can afford the extra 4 CP and just use Master's Mend. And the good thing about it as well with Master's Men, for the 4x of CP, it will just restore the 30 durability immediately. Whereas Manipulation does it over 3 steps. So that's why I've decided to get rid of Manipulation, free up the slot and only use Master's Men 1. For From Level Worker, I'm only now using Waste Not 2. I am not using Waste Not 1 because you can use it for 8 moves, whereas Waste Not 1 is only 4 moves. And the amount of CP you save using Waste Not 2 in the right way is much better than using Waste Not more than once, at least in my opinion. Okay, and then I use Careful Synthesis 2, that's a no-brainer. 100% success rate, 120 efficiency, use it in pretty much nearly every single macro almost. And then Alchemist, I use Tricks of the Trade, one of the most important abilities in all of crafting, to restore 20 CP when you get a good condition. It is vital, in even in the 4 star cases. Comfort Zone is great as well, because you spend 66 CP, but over 10 steps it gives you back 80. So it's, it's another way of getting 14 free CP, so a very good move, I always use it. Now Culinarian, I use all of these abilities, every single one, so Hasty Touch, it's great, really, for um, haste for touch spamming without having to use CP, which is used in some of my macros. Not in all of them, but in some of them. Steady Hand 2, because it increases the success rate by 30% rather than the 20% that Steady Hand 1 gives. And it only costs 3 CP more. So for 3 CP, you're getting an extra 10% success rate. So definitely worth it. And then Reclaim. And the reason you use Reclaim is because it says increases the chance materials will not be lost after botched synthesis to 90%. And I'm now using that on all crafts because when you get into the realm of 4-star crafting, as you might have seen in my other video, quite often the conditions will just not be right to get high quality. So it's worth reclaiming, breaking the synthesis, getting the materials back and trying again. So the good thing about these set of abilities is, is that these now work with all of my macros, every single set. I no longer have to switch them around, I no longer have to keep forgetting or remembering or anything like that, and I've updated all the macros appropriately, so there's no more manipulation in my set, there's no more rapid synthesis, there's no more waste not one, and yeah, so that basically that's, they're the sort of, that's the decision I've now made, and it's been working out incredibly well for me so far. 
So if I was if I quickly now change to my other classes to show you these additional in effect. So as you can see, it's the same for blacksmith. So obviously with carpenter, I've selected by God's blessing, and then as a blacksmith, I get ingenuity to anyway. And then for armor smith, same thing. And as a armor smith, I get piece by piece naturally anyway, because it is an armor smith move. And then as a goldsmith, again, all shared abilities because people were actually saying to me that with goldsmith they were having a hard time choosing their abilities because it's kind of odd whereas now given that i've ditched manipulation and rapid synthesis i have enough space to get all of the other abilities i need to do my four star macro which is wonderful and naturally you get innovation because innovation is a goldsmith move and then on level worker same you know no no problem and I get Waste Not too naturally, which is great, and I can select Innovation from Goldsmith again. So that's easy. With Level Worker, obviously I get Careful Synthesis 2, because it's a Level Worker move, and then I've selected all the same, the rest that I've mentioned. And then Alchemist, same thing. Now the good thing is, is that Alchemist actually naturally has uh, two of the abilities being Comfort Zone and Tricks of the Trade, which actually gives me a free slot in case I ever need to use one of the like brand of fire or I don't know depending on the craft so I have an extra slot because there's two abilities from Alchemist and then actually in Culinarian I've actually got two free slots because I've selected all the abilities I need but Culinarian also provides automatically Steady Hand 2 and Reclaim and also um, funny that I would forget, isn't it? Oh yeah, and uh, Hasty Touch as well. So because Culinarian's got those three moves built into it, that's why I've got two additional free slots. So that's basically, that's all of the shared abilities I use. And I will obviously link and detail all of this in the description and the reason why I've selected each one as well. And I have, like I said, updated the description. So basically, updated all my macros. So basically, in all of my previous macros and all my previous macro videos, anywhere where there used to be manipulation, I've now replaced with Master's Mend. This Master's Mend, which is this ability here. So I can get rid of manipulation completely from all of my rotations. And having Reclaim is really, really good. Not needing Rapid Synthesis is also really good. So I will also link in the description up to all of my other crafting guides just so you have it all in one place so by now if you followed all my videos using all my macros you should have the following macros level 1 to 20 level 25 20 to 35 level 35 to 50 80 durability level 35 to 50 40 durability one star with normal quality mats one star with high quality mats two star 80 durability these three 4 star, 80 durability, I mean I think every every 4 star is 80 durability, it's kind of redundant. And this is then 2 star, 40 durability. And this is, all of these are my 3 star macros, the uh, Alicia macro set. I probably could cut this down eventually, but I, I kind of like it, so I'll just leave it as it is. And then I've got my different furniture macros. So I actually haven't got into the 4 star furnitures yet because they are actually something like 1800 difficulty. So I'll give you an example of that. Um, if we look now at housing as a carpenter, go to the very, very bottom of the list, which should give me here, like the four star. You can see here, 1875 difficulty. So until I actually create an armoire, something of this level, I'm not actually 100% sure what the rotation will be, but I'm sure I'll work it out. And I'm sure piece by piece will be incredibly useful for it as well so yeah so anyway that's it for this video if you have any thoughts or ideas about the abilities i've chosen to use then please let me know but as far as i can see that for me this is like the perfect selection it doesn't need to be changed it will work for the foreseeable future unless they throw something into 2.5 which messes it all up but i guess we'll see so anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri.